Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, prepare uh, part of a site plan. So this is a site plan for a lot line adjustment. This is some pro bono work we're doing for the local sportsman's club, and they're going to swap some land with the city. Uh, their club's next to a city park, and so we have a bare bones uh, site plan here. Uh, that I'm in the sheet drawing. Uh, this this sheet drawing, uh, we initially did what we call an existing conditions exhibit, which just kind of showed the, the club what was out there. And so uh, we've copied that and just uh, basically changed the title. And uh, what we need to do now is go in and turn this into a, a site plan for a lot line adjustment. So you can see here in model space, uh, these are the existing property lines kind of in this purple and down here in this burgundy color. And then this lighter purple here, these are the proposed parcel lines uh, sorry there's one here and there's one here so the club is going to give this to the city and then they're going to take this down here so what we need to do is uh, we need to add some labels to this right because this site plans uh, kind of naked so we're going to add uh, some boundary segment labels where appropriate and then we're going to add some uh, parcel labels uh, subject parcel labels and adjoiner labels and then uh, we'll label some features uh, some major uh, topographic features and then we should be pretty close to the site plan so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the boundary segment labels and uh, we're going to do that in carlson so i've opened uh, my boundary design line work drawing in carlson we're going to label that then we're going to label the uh, the actual existing line work so in this in this drawing we're just going to do the design lines and for what we're doing here i'm just going to label uh, the distances we're not going to put bearings on because it's just a site plan so it's it's uh it's planning level okay so we're just going to come in here and we'll label these you know what before i do that my drawing needs to be set to a 60 scale so that's the scale of our exhibit so let me do that again So we're doing distance only. Okay, and uh, we got this line up here. Okay, now what I don't uh, probably have ready is I don't have a, a label probably for curves that just has curves. Let's go look. So we want to label the arc. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so all I want is the length. Um, let's see here. I don't know if there's a way to, um, I don't mind keeping the, all right, here we go. So we're just going to do, uh, length and radius. I think we'll do, you know what? I don't need the radius either. So we'll set those to none. Okay. And then we'll create these. Okay, and then uh, we can just go in here and edit these. I don't need the L or the uh, record reference behind it. I just need the distance. Okay. So Carlson has this cool arc string editor, which is pretty handy. Okay. So that's done. Now uh, we need to go in and label the parts of the existing parcels that are important. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to copy these labels because I don't want to leave them in the line we're drawing. So we're going to select similar and we're going to say um, edit. We're actually going to cut them. Okay, and we're going to go open the site plan drawing. So because um, we won't reuse these labels outside of the site plan, we, we can actually keep them in the model space of the site plan drawing. And sorry, I have that open in BricsCAD, so let's close that. Okay, so we're going to paste the labels in here.
Okay, so now we've got the labels. Okay, um, so we're going to save this change, and now we want to do the same thing uh, with a few of our actual existing property lines. So we're going to close that, and I'm going to go ahead and open. Let's see if we can open this. Okay, so here's the existing property lines. Okay, and I really only want to label what's going to be related to the adjustment. Okay, so let's go ahead and some of that is easy. So let's do the easy stuff first. So we're just going to, again, come in here. We're just doing distance. So this is all being given to the club. So we want to label all of this. Okay, and this and this. Okay. All right, so you can see uh, that doesn't land on the midpoint. So that's not what I want. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to draw a line over the top of that that we can label because I only want that inside distance. Okay, and I'm actually going to do the same thing over here. Okay, and I also want, we're going to come back, we need a couple other distances. Let's get this one on. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna drop in our um, our boundary line work design drawing here, so we can see what other pieces we need to label. Okay, so um, you can see I need this little piece here, this little segment here. Okay, because we're extending this property line up, so we're gonna label that. And then I want uh, this piece here labeled. Okay, and then I want this piece of this labeled. Okay, and then I want these distances here labeled. Okay, so let's go ahead and add those. Again, doing the distance only. And I don't think we need crow's feet. This is pretty simple, so we're not doing any crow's feet. Again, just a site plan, right? This isn't a, a record survey or a plat. So we're just we're just trying to keep things simple, give the planner an idea of what's going on. Okay, I don't think I need to label any other distances. You know, the planner shouldn't be worried about what's going on over here. That's not involved in the adjustment. It's existing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select similar again. And we are going to go back into our site plan model space. And we will paste that in. And I think that's all of the distances that the uh, that the planner needs. Okay, so we basically completed that first step, right? Which was to label the um, boundary segments. Okay, then we want uh, to add some subject parcel labels. Um, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, but I'm going to do that in another video. So we'll do that in part two. So in part two, we're going to come in. We're going to label these parcels that are being transferred from the club to the city and from the city to the club. And then we'll show some uh, before and, and after uh, areas. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for watching.